Hey everyone, it's Crypto LLC. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new Antminer S21 XB Hydro. Just talked with the reps here. I'm gonna be going over the details and showing you guys around the miner. They have a sample here, two miners. They're talking about uh, their performance, their power consumption, and the new setup they have for these new hydros. So if you think that's interesting, you know what to do, hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you want to buy some ASICs, if you want to build a farm, if you want to host with us, we do all of that. Before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, let's go. So you got these hydros here, I'll show you guys around. Very similar, three phase power going in, allows you to push these things to like 5,000 watts. They have this little miniature one built, and this miniature one thinks, looks like they're running just two. Let me take a look. Yeah, just two miners, looks like. Um, and they got the little cooler over here. You can see it's just built for the trade shows. So in real life, these are huge. These are like 10 feet tall, 20 feet long, huge containers. But if I go over here, I'll give you guys some stats, some details. So this miner is producing 482 terahash. Power consumption is 5784. And if you divide that in, you're gonna get around 12 watts of terahash, which is crazy. 12 watts of terahash um, is a significant upgrade from the um, previous miners they released, which are around 17 at best. Um, these are going to be very pricey, obviously. 12 watts stereo ash is a significant upgrade. Um, I'm thinking these things are going to be very expensive, probably like 7,000 each, something like that, I'm assuming. But there are some, some changes here. You can see they added an additional temperature sensor. Now you have two, four, six temperature sensors. You got your intake temperature of the water at 37, your exhaust at 45, 45, 46, and then your temperature sensors on a PCB outlet. So these are very good numbers. You can see all of these temperature sensors are in range. And talking to the reps, they said that uh, the best case efficiency for these miners is when the temperature um, for the water going in is at 35. So you can see we're at 37. So basically, they are in ideal consumption as of right now. They are producing uh, great performance, efficiency, and all of that. Pool rejection rate zero, been running for one hour, well basically two hours, running for two hours, and real-time hash rate average. So basically everything else is the same as any other type of Bitmain miner, like an S19, S19K, uh, S21s, Pros, and then Hydros. They're all basically the same. Um, the only difference is that you're gonna have significant increases in performance. Um, with this miner, you're gonna have significant increase in the hash rate. You're talking about almost 500 hash rate, that's crazy. 500 hash rate. Now you can see how they're achieving that. Now I tried to get out of them the uh, nanometers and they told me it's a secret. Um, maybe it's out there somewhere, but as of right now, they told me it's a secret, but they are produced in TSMC. So we're talking about top of the line chips at TSMC. Uh, I, if, it was, if I were to guess, I would think probably two or three nanometers on these guys. But you can see how they're achieving the results with so much hash rate at 12 nanometers. They're achieving those results by first of all, plugging in a lot of chips. So they're keeping their frequency low at 495, which is very low. They're keeping the frequency low that increases their performance. Their nanometers, probably two to three nanometers on the chips. So they're gonna have great performance, but they cannot get such a high amount of hash rate unless they increase the chip count. So they had no choice other than to put more chips. You're talking about 160 chips. That's a lot of chips on a board. Hopefully that those chips um, are very reliable. Hopefully those chips and the chain between them, the signals between them um, were, would be reliable because as you increase chip count, you're gonna be increasing any, increasing the probability of failure. Um, but again, these are hydros, um, so there's no dust. There is no you know garbage, all that stuff going into these miners. They're not pushing air, um, so you should have better performance. Also, they're being cooled at such great results here, you can see that. Now talking with them about uh, cooling, because uh, you might be guessing like, what about cooling um, in hotter environments? Like how much efficiency are you losing? 
So we talked to them about that and uh, the maximum dry coolers can, can pass through. Hopefully I'm recording. I'm recording on my phone, by the way. The maximum they can uh, produce their or, or, or put out uh, good performance is when the ambient temperatures outside um, are less than 90, or basically like 80, 90. So you don't want to go like higher than that. But if you do go higher than that, let's say you have a day when it's 100 degrees outside and you are on a closed loop. Now on an open loop, you're just going to be consuming water. You're going to be consuming six gallons a minute on water, plus you've got your closed loop and your open loop. But if you're on two closed loops, um, then the max, uh, then uh, when your ambient temperatures is about 100 outside, your inlet temperature is going to go past that 35 mark for maximum efficiency. You can see the inlet right there. Because you're increasing your temperature uh, of your inlet because you're not cooling it all fast enough as the temperature outside has gone up. So what happens at that point is these miners are designed in such a way where once they detect that they are heating up because it got hotter outside, once they detect that, they will automatically switch to higher power mode, meaning that they will continue to mine, but their efficiency will drop. So you're not going to be getting 12 watts of terahash on these miners at that point. You're going to lose efficiency. So um, again, these are brand new miners. Who knows what that is? I'm guessing you probably lose a couple of points. So maybe at that point, you'd be, uh, you'd be running at like 15 watts of terahash or 16, 17 watts of terahash as long as the outside temperatures are like at 100. But as soon as it drops, then you're going to go back down to 12. Now I'm going to show you guys around um, the uh, closed loop, what I'm talking about, so you get an idea. This is a closed loop setup here. You can see um, these ones would not have water actually running between them on an open loop. They would have a closed loop, and then you would require two of these to handle one mining container. And you can see that here. You got one, two, and that should handle it just fine. Um, again, you're increasing your uh, footprint on your property. You need more space, but if you have you know, 10 acres, it doesn't matter. But this does increase uh, your cost. You have to buy an additional cooling container, which they're not expensive. They're not that expensive. You have to buy an additional one. Um, but then you do not need water, which is great. You have one less breaking point in terms of water. I mean, you're increasing your breaking point by you know, having two of these cooling containers here. But you are decreasing the fact that you have to keep pushing water through it. You know, you got to put like a well, maybe build a poly pond to suck water from the poly pond, or even have a city line coming in. Um, if you have a city line, then you're just consuming water. Those are things you have to think about. And so this is why we, we offer our services here at Crypto LLCs. We did all the research on all these containers, um, direct access to the manufacturers, to the um, to selling agents out there. We can get a great deal on not only uh, top of the line cooling containers like the V7 that just came out, but we can get them procured to you without paying that 25% tariff tax, which a lot of uh, things you buy from China have that tariff. Um, so we have Crypto LLC can provide these containers at a great price, um, at a discount price with no tariffs. So a great opportunity. So yeah, if you want to build um, something like this or you want to go with air, um, maybe you, you know these, these miners are probably some ways out. Maybe you want to go with something else like an S21 non-XP, just a regular S21 hydro. Um, has a you know a worse efficiency, but still great. You know, 17 watts of terahash is a wonderful efficiency. But if you want to go full out and just go for this guy, we can do that as well. Procure those um, S21 XP hydros at a great price, uh, cheaper than manufacturing. Um, again, as we've been working this, uh, these um, trade shows and all of our suppliers and everything, we can get great prices for everything out there. So if you think that's interesting. Like I said in the very beginning of the video, um, check out our site, CryptoLLC.org. You want to build a farm, you want to host it for us, you want to buy miners. We offer all of that um, at our site. That's going to be it for this one. Until next time, goodbye.